We have all been in this situation where a friend's birthday is a couple of days away and we got no present for them, nor any ideas of what to get them. Or maybe I'm just a bad friend, but that's beside the point. And after some brainstorming, I think I finally know what I want to do, but I only have three days left, so I better get started. And by desktop pet, I mean an app the likes of Desktop Goose, for example, where you have a funny little creature that roams around your desktop while you work killing your productivity. And this is my skate buddy. Basically, we, we go and uh, and skate together. I thought like it would be fun to make three versions of us in pixel art and have us at the bottom of the screen, like here, to run around the desktop on our skateboards. And if you click on us, we do an ollie or something. And the first challenge will be to render the game to a full screen transparent window that we can click through. Otherwise, this will all just be an over-engineered wallpaper. Funny enough, I haven't gone to two different videos about making a desktop pet. I, I was preparing for the stream and I was watching those videos. <laughs> The first video is from Rachel of Tech, who actually inspired me to do this in Godot. Her approach though uses multiple windows and it seemed a little too complex to pull off in a couple of days, so I decided to look into this further. And after some research, I found a video from another creator that showed how to use some Windows APIs and libraries to change the properties of a window and get exactly the result that I wanted. Okay, are they are they showing the transparent window? Okay, we need to import to do get active window, set window long, and we're gonna copy these, private, static, extern. Let's go, it worked, it worked. Look at this, it's working, that's great. Now it was the time to draw a temporary animated skater, drop it in the engine and start coding the logic for its movement. We're gonna have like skateboard, something like this. We're gonna have the wheels. We're gonna put the foot back like this and we're gonna bring the arm forward like this. Let's, let's color this and see how it looks in color. Let's see if this works. It's gonna skate for a few seconds. Let's go! Let's go! Look at this. It will skate and it will stop skating in a few seconds. And now I'll go hoop. Now I'll go hoop. And it will stop skating in a few seconds. And the skater's behavior is based on a state machine that either follows time events or tries to get out of the way of the cursor. And yeah, ultimately it's a silly app with little to no real world use, but it's also a funny little companion to keep on your desktop while you code all day. I initially did not plan to make a video about this, but it ended up being a funny little experiment that I felt like sharing. Obviously, I'm not gonna release the full project, but I'm gonna put some resources in the description that you can use to get started if you plan to do something similar. That's it, this video could have probably been a short, but I had fun filming it. So if you enjoyed it, please leave, laugh, like, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.